So hypertension or high blood pressure still causes an estimated 7.5 million deaths each year and it accounts for more than 10% of annual deaths worldwide. So for this reason, awareness days like today's are incredibly vital. In fact, today it, it is World Hypertension Day. And joining us uh, to talk about this, representing the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa, is lecturer in nutrition at UCT, Gabriel Ekstien. Good to have you here, man. Morning. Nice to see you guys again. Gabriel, uh, you know, it, it almost like shocks me that we're still talking about mm. this because we've been talking about this for a while. Are we as South Africans waking up to the idea that this is a serious situation or are the statistics just getting worse? Mm. You know, Leon, certainly not. I think uh, the latest stats in South Africa, about 11,000 people was tested a couple of years ago. Yeah. And I think about 45% of them had high blood pressure. Oh, wow. hmm. uh, so the problem's not going to get away. And to, to be slightly pessimistic about it, it probably will get worse before it gets better. Wow. Uh, because we're in this transition of the way we live, you know, the types of foods we eat, how much exercise we do, how much people live in cities and have desk jobs, these things are all changing and adding to the epidemic. Yeah. Uh, and of course, a lot of people don't know they have high blood pressure, which means mm. they don't get treated. Yeah. Uh, so we're probably going to see it get a bit worse. Um, of course, there are pockets of our population that are doing well, that's exercising, that's getting treatment, uh, but it's really unequal if we, if we look at it that way. Yeah, the, the good thing is that it is manageable. It's so manageable, and I think that's the problem. If you get tested, you know you have high blood pressure. Exactly. First Very effective first. medications, and of course, lifestyle changes. Uh, you know, the salt, the fruit, the vegetables, the exercise, managing your stress, all these things can really effectively manage uh, high blood pressure. Yeah, so you said less intake of salt, mm -hmm. making sure you get fruits and vegetables, exercising, mm -hmm. and stressing less. Yes, so all those things. And, you know, we can focus on one of them when we're talking a little bit about salt today, but it's really about putting all those factors yeah. together to get yeah. the best effect. And, of course, medication uh, only works when you take it, yes. um, which is part of the problem as well. As people are prescribed medication, somewhere along the line they stop taking them. And a big part of that is the fact that hypertension doesn't have symptoms. So you don't feel less well because you've got hypertension, mm. which means why should I take a tablet? So you mm. stop taking the mm. tablet. Uh, and then, you know, 10 years down the line, you develop the heart disease, the kidney disease, uh, or the stroke, or whatever the case might be. Wow. Mm. Let's talk about one of the things that I think a lot of people uh, don't really take into consideration is the mm. fact that our food contains so much salt. Mm. Um, and does that also play a very big part in hypertension as well? Mm, definitely. One of the biggest things we see with hypertension is the risk increases as you get older. Yeah. Uh, and a big part of that is our salty habits. Yeah. Uh, so we call that kind of a, a salt-sensitive um, hypertension. So we respond to too much salt in our diet, and as we get older, we're more likely to get hypertension. And of course, a lot of the salt is hidden within our food. So mm. it's not just the salt we add you know, to the food when we cook or at the table. It's what's in the spices, what's in the breads, what's in the polonies, what's in all these things we eat on yeah. a regular basis. Uh, it all kind of compiles, and it gives us a very salty diet, which is yeah. uh, one of the most easy th things to change to avoid hypertension in the first place. Mm. Mm. Earlier on, you mentioned that getting tested is a very important thing, because you need to know whether you do mm. have hypertension or not. A lot of people out there don't know that they have mm. it. So what's the quickest and easiest way to have it tested? Mm. Or is there something that you could feel in mm. your body to go, mm, yeah. maybe I should be worrying? I think that's probably a very important point, is don't wait to feel a headache, to feel a flush in your face because then your blood pressure is probably already sky high. Uh, there's no signs, no symptoms. So you have to get tested once a year. Okay. You know, people that go to the uh, doctor regularly will have it tested regularly, but particularly the people that don't go to the doctor often. You can step into a pharmacy and uh, it's going to cost you next to nothing to get your blood pressure tested. You can go to a clinic. Anywhere there's a nurse on, on call, they can test your blood pressure. Uh, and it's going to take you two to five minutes to do it. It's not painful. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money. So you really don't have an excuse no, no matter who you are. It could save your life, those, little, those five minutes that you take, right? You know, I can't tell you how many people you see uh, that don't know they've got high blood pressure until they end up having a heart attack or oh, stroke. Wow. Uh, no, so it that. could save your life, <laughs> yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. Well, yes. they say that knowledge is power, hey? Yeah, and absolutely. prevention is better than cure at mm. the end of the day. Yeah. So mm. with today, the 17th of May being World Hypertension Day, make sure that you do get tested. And if you are looking for more information, you can check out at SA Heart Stroke on social media.